video on your screen currently is a snippet from um, Peter Okoye's winning song. Now, in this video, you can see an AI of Whiskey, and then the video again, um, Bernard Boy, and then the video again, Drake, and then the video again. Now, it's the last part of the video that has got a lot of people talking. It is a snippet or it's an AI something of him and then his brother, Rude Boy, again, showing that he wants to reconcile with his brother. Peter Okoye says he's tired of the way the whole internet knows about their business and he wants his brother back. He wants the peace square that we used to know back. Omo, these people could have gone ahead to win Grammy, BET and stuff for Nigeria and the whole of Africa. But then what happened? They decided to split until date. Fans don't know the reason why they split it. It's been one um one issue after the it's been a roller coaster ride with them the latest one that these two made headlines with was that um rude boy that is paul okoye the one with the dread was accusing his brother peter okoye of stealing his song titled winning that is a snippet of the video the music video i just showed you about now he claims that he um He's set to release an album next year. Now, in this album, he has a song titled Winning in It. And his brother, that is Peter Okoye, is also set to release a song titled Winning. The same lyrics, the same sound, the same vocals, everything is just the same. And he went ahead to accuse his brother of stealing the song. Now, after accusing his brother, his brother decided to come out to, you know, clear up his name because he's tired of always being in the shadow and being silent about whatever is going on so he decided to clear his name claiming that he contacted the music producer from ghana to work on this he even dropped the video of where he was teaching his brother how to sing his brother that is rude boy how to sing the winning song word for word showing that this song is for him now according to him his elder brother Jude Okoye is behind all these things about Paul, um, you know, accusing him of stealing a song and a whole lot because his elder brother is the one making all the calls, pulling the shots, writing letters and stuff, and hiding behind um rude boy, that is Paul Okoye, and then um, you know, threatening to uh reports the song on all the streaming platforms because he has released the song it currently has a 1 million view on youtube getting to 2 million it has a lot of views or a lot of listening on um audio mark spotify and all the streaming platform is doing very well and he claims his elder brother is looking for his downfall he wants peter okoye to really lose in life because tell me why my elder brother will be pushing my twin brother to file a case against me or to report a music that i own just because he wants to make it his own now according to peter okoye let all these things pass he is tired he wants his brother back he wants peace square back. He wants the respect that they once had when people didn't know about anything concerning them. Now, it seems everywhere they pass, their issue is on the media. Everybody knows about what, whatever is going on in peace square, except the reason why they split it. Except the reason why they, they went their separate ways some time ago and then they had to, you know, go solo each it's been a whole roller coaster ride with them and their fans are even tired at this point in time because every AK market day we have to wake up to something regarding p square these two were legends forget it these two were legends where they could have won grammy and then bet if they were still together they could have been one of the biggest music duo nigeria has ever produced and now look at what is happening Everything is in shambles at this point in time. One is accusing the other. I mean, today it is this, tomorrow it is that. Peter Okoye claims he is tired. He even tagged his brother in the comment section saying, Rude boy, I am tired. I mean, I, we want, I want us to reconcile. Now, if you look at the music video, the last part is about him and then his brother hugging. Meaning he's tired. He has Whiskey and Davido Hagen. He has Bernard Boy and Davido Hagen. He has Drake and then Kendrick Lamar Hagen. He has um, Nicki Minaj and then Cardi B Hagen. Meaning he wants all these two, these people, he wants the industry beef to end. He's tired. P Square could have been one of the biggest music deal, but look at them today.